like jumping on him. And I'm like, how can you not tell? It's like, jeez. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we get channel membership, Patreon, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom, episode 15. This is part two, and we are now on episode 15, the Grand Chaos Empire is now negotiating with Soma because uh, Amandinia, uh Prince Julius, he wants to take back the territory by using the Man Alliance uh, agreement. And so, yeah, Julius totally got baited in the last episode and he just showed that he is not fit to be a leader and he's just too emotionally invested <laughs> basically he lost some face in front of the grand chaos empire which uh the representative of the grand chaos empire could totally tell that what someone was doing and she was even calling out someone's like stop like stop getting him upset <laughs> So now they're going to have a conversation, which is going to be interesting because the Grand Chaos Empire is kind of the one in control of everything since they're the ones in the front line fighting against the Demon Lord at the Demon Continent. So it's going to be really interesting seeing their conversation and what transpires. Oh, they're kind of giving a recap. Ah, oh, the declaration. Mankind declaration. Changes in borders due to military action are not recognized. So that's what, um, <laughs> the principality of Amadonia is <laughs> using to get their territory back. is back in session. Monster meat. surprisingly wild why is that wild she says she wouldn't eat something like person like demons So 10 years ago, she was 9 and 7. They're now 17, 19. I like how they're showing what happened 10 years ago. Like, Elfredian seems so peaceful compared to this.
Yeah. Did monsters evolve from, I mean, did demons evolve from monsters? You know, the eating brains would make sense. But it seems that's not how demons came about. I feel like we're going to go back to monster meat later on. Interesting. Someone keeps asking questions in a different way, but it's similar to what he's thinking. Oh, that's how you knew you could eat monster meat. You saw cooked monster meat. Demons ate the monsters. If demons did evolve from monsters, wouldn't that be like cannibalism? Oh, yeah! Demons don't regard monsters as equals. Ooh, that's a good comparison. Demons, monsters, people, animals. Bomb show you're about to drop. Discriminatory remarks? Jeez! They're like jumping on him. They're like, how can you not tell? It's like, jeez! <laughs> The demon who has... Oh, different furs. Oh, gosh. Shared awareness in this world. Slay beer cats that were there. Oh. Oh dear.
I feel like this is going to be happening later on in the series. Yo, they're just like dropping some breadcrumbs for later on. Just like what they did in the last scene in part one. Hmm, demons being an ethnic minority. Oh dear. Yeah, further discuss this another time. You guys have um other pressing matters at the moment. Yeah, occupation of Vaughn. <laughs> it's time to talk about that. Yes! Make them pay! You're confident you can wipe out both kingdoms? Jeez. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Prevent them from taking hostile actions. Make them pay for invading! He is ready for a single one-time payment. But this will show an example. Okay! Mm-hmm, have no pity for him. Payments in Imperial Coinage? Oh, they're gonna say why King Albert didn't sign. And the truth is... He couldn't decide. <laughs> he was being indecisive. That totally sounds like her dad. <laughs> March in step with yours.
March. March makes it sound like you're going to fight. Oh, a secret alliance. Mm, I wonder when they go into action, they're going to uh, utilize Tomoe. Oh ho ho, that would make a lot of sense because the Grand Chaos Empire, if they answer, they would have to travel. But with some of them, they don't have to travel. Union of Eastern Nations. So they want a secret alliance to not make the other neighboring countries be wary of them. Huh. Communication. What is this? What is this? A simple receiver? Give Soma to our country? Prime Minister? Have him become Emperor? Yes, ladies. Keep your man. What is Soma? What is Soma? What? <laughs> she had to like rethink it. Instead of saying mine, she had to change to our. <laughs> oh, Aisha. Never change. Wild proposal. <laughs> I find it interesting that they brought up the word wild again. Ooh. Sending diplomatic officers. 
Ooh, embassies in both countries. Oh, we saw this scene before. Was this at the end of part one or in the trailers? For sure it was in the trailer. My good friend from the east. Good friend from the west. The Demon Lord! We're gonna talk about the Demon Lord! Homo, I might know the demon racist language. Devalroy? You okay, Soma? You remember hearing this somewhere before. You remember hearing it from somewhere. Where? So mysterious. They did it again. First they made Licious mom seem mysterious. Now they have this other mysterious scene. Again, they like sprinkled breadcrumbs. And that's my reaction to Rila's Tira episode 15. What did you think about this episode and what did you think about this video? I'm thinking that they are giving us a lot of foreshadowing for later on in this season or part, part two, and probably the series because they kind of did that already in part one with Tomoe being able to understand demons or at least one demon. And now they're going back to talking about how beast people look, or at least to Soma, how beast people look similar or may look similar to demons to him. And I really like how he explained from his point of view, like a lot of stuff, like there's no difference to him. For example, like the monsters and animals, not gonna lie, some of them domestic creatures they have seem kind of monster-like, <laughs> but to them, they're not monsters. They are animals, and there's like, they explain what's the difference between the animals and the monsters, right? Now it's like, okay, what's the difference between demons and beast people? And to them in this world, they're like, we can just tell. It just is. And to some, it's like, but how? And besides that being like the different perspectives and such, it's also explaining that, okay, people who do know, like, y'all can tell what the difference is, but you can all be like, well, because they seem similar like demons, we can use that fact against them and make it beneficial to us so we can have some type of reason to attack and i'm like oh dang so i'm wondering if later on a country is going to try to cause trouble by using that and i'm wondering if um the dragon newts are going to be affected the most because in the end of the opening we saw that um the dragon newt girl, the one that's Alicia's friend, she was like kind of covered with chains. Like she wasn't covered in chains, but there was like chains in the picture in that scene. I wonder if she's going to be affected. Interesting. 
But besides that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you guys want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Prefina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lee Hua. And this is the Superfina channel reacting to Realist Hero episode 15. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Laters!